Oh baby, I haven't been this excited in a long time. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor and today we are speaking about Lordstown Motors and I have some news that I bet 90 plus percent of you guys will not be aware of. You're asking yourself, is it the 80,000 pre-orders? Of course I know about that Jack, it's on their Twitter. No, it is not the 80,000 pre-orders, it is this right here. Lordstown Motors receives a letter of intent from E Squared Energy for 14,000 Lordstown Endurance Electric pickup trucks. 14. Thousand. How do we know this is real? Anybody in the world could have written this up. Tim Gross, the CEO and Executive Director of E Squared Energy. Three days ago on his LinkedIn came out with this. We will get into exactly what this is in just a little bit. We're going to speak about some of E Squared's customer base. Look at some of those customers. We're going to have a quick look at Lordstown Motors 8K filing because if you guys have been following Lordstown, they keep us up to date with how many pre-orders they have but they're not telling us who they're coming from. All we get is average order sizes. And Goldman Sachs is heavily bullish on the company right now, so a few things to speak about. So right before we do get into the video, my friends, can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? It's a juicy video. Drop me a comment down below. What do you think about this news, my friends? Are you buying more? Have you been buying more? Are you trimming? What are you doing? And please, my friend, if you aren't even new around here, hit that juicy red subscribe button. Let's see if we get 65,000 subs soon. That would be an awesome number to hit. And also, if you are interested, please hit the first link in the description to sign up to my private Discord group. We were speaking about this all day. A user by the name of Camry77 is the person who brought this news to my attention. She has some insane information she also did some really good research into workhorse back a couple of months ago i remember speaking to her before and she was actually speaking with tim gross in there you also get access to my buy and sell alerts over 40 private channels it's an awesome community and if you want four free stocks on weeble two of which are valued up to 37 hundred dollars my friends hit the second link in the description deposit one hundred dollars really is that simple now let's get into it okay so the first thing that happened yesterday was this and this in itself was extraordinarily exciting okay so on twitter they came to say kicking gas and taking names we have hit a new milestone 80,000 pre-orders i mean guys people thought i was being optimistic saying 50,000 by the end of the year they smashed that last month and now we're ending the air on over 80,000. All I can say to the team at Lordstown, to Steve, to the PR teams, to everybody I've spoken with, I'm sorry I doubted you guys. I thought 50,000 would have been good, but you have blown it out of the water, my friends. So this piece of news alone didn't do too much to Lordstown Motor Stock yesterday at all. So we were looking at this in the Discord yesterday. Me and Trent, you know, our chart master in there, were speaking about it. He actually put in an order at 1870. You'll see, I've had this area of support drawn out for a while. We went below it to fill in a gap. I'll show you I had that gap drawn out for a very long time. I saw us break out under it, and I said, if we can break back through here, if we can break through about $19 a share with some momentum, I think we're getting ready to go to the upside quite quickly. Now, keep in mind, guys, genuinely, a lot of people don't know about this news yet. I mean, Lawrence Town Motors haven't made a public statement, unless <laughs> you were on my Twitter or in my Discord, or unless K Marie text you directly you're not really going to be aware of this i mean the linkedin post has 49 likes so yesterday we did end the day in the green about 3.37 percent we're up about three percent pre-market i'm recording this about four hours before the market goes open so of course anything could happen but i am feeling relatively optimistic in all honesty especially when more people do find out about this news but one thing i would like to point out guys okay is we currently have a market cap of 3.2 billion now keep in mind that when we invest we're investing what we believe is going to happen in the future okay we're up to 80,000 pre-orders. The vehicles are going to bring in revenue of 52,500 per. Do the maths my friends. The 14,000 vehicle order we got just yesterday shows revenue of 735 million dollars. If all of the pre-orders that we have so far, keep in mind these vehicles aren't getting produced until September of next year. Just the pre-orders we have so far equates to 4.2 billion dollars in revenue. Now of course I know that's not profit blah 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 but in revenue now again there's always those guys isn't there the contracts are not binding they do not have to buy these do you really think e squared is going to come out with a letter of intent for 14,000 vehicles for the fun of it no the simple answer is no do you think the ceo would be on linkedin speaking about it no not if they didn't have intent in purchasing these vehicles the last update we got from lordstown motor showed that there was a 500 average quantity order for these vehicles as well that's when it was back at 50 thousand pre-orders so i do understand what people are saying but i've said this so many times it is not individuals putting in these orders it is fleet managers for 
500 to 14,000 vehicles a go. And please understand that, and again understand that, we're not going to be choosing these vehicles until September of next year. How many more pre-orders are we going to have? Are we going to be sitting on 10 to 15 billion dollars in revenue worth of pre-orders in the span of about nine months when we currently have a market cap of 3.2 billion? Again, I know they're not all guaranteed to come in. I know it's not that simple, but you see the picture I'm trying to create here. So the letter of intent came out December 1st. E Squared Energy, a technological company that specializes in the development of green energy resources via microgrids, has signed a letter of intent to purchase 14,000 endurance electric pickup trucks from Lordstown Motors. And that is in the next three year period, beginning with Lordstown Motors' first production in 2021. With today's leading innovation at the core of both companies, the letter of intent is the latest example of how smart and sustainable technologies will continue to drive growth in the Northeast Ohio's. Voltage Valley baby, big up Voltage Valley. Partnering with fleet customers that not only understand the specs of the truck, but also the long term value provided to the communities being serviced, speaks to the evolution of the automotive industry and the way work is done, said Steve Burns. And E Squared is launching a 100% renewable microgrid technology that offers both resiliency and reliability from the grid with the ability to provide clean and reliable green e-mobility power. Beautiful. And you'll see here, okay, if you don't know what E-Squared Energy does, okay, they're providing large fleets such as cities, municipals and private corporations the option to convert their fleets to zero emissions with no upfront cost with the world's most innovative pay-as-you-go transportation model. And again, you look at some of their group clients, Microsoft, Ikea, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, United, NASA, FedEx, Google. Up until this point, we have not known what fleets have purchased from Lordstown Motors. But this single relationship right here, this single letter of intent right here, could lead to a really, really long-term relationship, and it could lead to Lordstown Motors being associated with some of the biggest names in the entire world. And one thing I'd like to point out is that Lordstown Motors hasn't made a press release on this yet. I'm not sure why, it quite clearly is public information as E Squared have been sharing it. The most recent thing we have is this. It is their most recent Form 8K. It literally did come out yesterday. And it just updated. It said they announced that they had received 80,000 non-binding reservations for the endurance to date. The company remains on track to begin production of the endurance in September 2021. We're already aware of that. We know it's coming in the third quarter of next year. They're saying September now. Absolutely fine. But I mean, geez, guys. When this becomes mainstream news, when Seek and Alpha, The Motley Fool, all those guys are covering this... I don't see how Lord's Hell Motors can't make a nice move up, especially considering that the market is moving quite nicely right now, EV in particular. I know not all of them are, but a lot of them are. Workhorse has also been making some pre-market moves today, so who knows their potential for a nice day. We all know these companies can tend to move in unison at times. Things are beginning to line up for us, my friends. Goldman Sachs as well recently came out bullish on Lord's Tower Motors. Boom! So this comes out after the recent news we had with Camping World, okay? And the analyst writes, we believe this collaboration is a first step to address Lordstown's service footprint and charging infrastructure, and we view Lordstown's decision to leverage an existing service footprint as a cost-effective strategy. We believe that the broader customer experience, including service and charging, plays a significant role in product differentiation and can help EV startups to be successful. In our view, the ease and reliability of maintenance and charging is particularly important to Lordstown fleet slash commercial customer base, which is focused on vehicle uptime. So in line with these comments, they are rated a buy with a $31 price target. I personally think 12 months, $31 is very, very low. We will have began production. We will not be at full production, we will have began production. I think 2022 is going to be huge for this company. And I think with these new partnerships they're making, okay, with these new relationships they're going to be making, we could see revisions to how many vehicles are expected to be produced and sold in the year 2022 and so on. Now, I was speaking about these, as I said in my Discord, just earlier on. I, I sent out a message before I recorded this video. I said, my conviction levels for this company are incredibly, incredibly high with a 12 to 18 month period. I know it's an EV stock. I know it's very volatile. I know a lot of people day trade and swing trade these. This to me is a long term investment. 12 to 18 months is the beginning of it. I can see these guys being an absolute force to be reckoned with over the next 5 to 10 years if they execute, if all goes to plan, if they take advantage of what is in their hands right now, if they take advantage of that factory, the relationships they're building with, the reputation they already have, these letters of interest, everything. So that is where I stand. Look, when I'm looking at the chart, 
Everything I've said in the past still stands. I still think around 1570 is a floor. I would also see somewhere around the rounds of 1650 to 1670 being a very strong area of support. I see zero, and I mean zero reason for us to go there off of the back of this news unless there is a broader market crash. What do I think we have to do next? Honestly, I think we need to just finally break into $22 region again. I think that's what we need to see, and if we do that, we can start making some really nice upward movement. But I do think the next nine months or so for this company, we're going to have ups and downs. We're going to have plenty of them. So it's just a matter of buying more and building on your position when you feel comfortable doing so. And of course, you can always feel free to trim them when we go up. I mean, we've been at the 30s pretty much twice now. But anyway, my friends, that is the news. I am really hoping that soon Lotus Motors comes out with a press release or just a statement or even just put it on Twitter, put it somewhere. People will want to know about this 14,000 vehicle order. I love the fact they gave us this. I love the fact they gave us the 80,000 pre-orders, but people love knowing the details. People love knowing where it is coming from. Having one letter of interest for 14,000 vehicles means more to me as an investor than 28 for 500 vehicles or 56 for 250 vehicles. It's a much bigger number. It's a much more significant relationship being built. People want to hear about these things. So that's what I'm hoping. Now, obviously, we're going into Christmas. It may not happen, but I'm really hoping it does. But anyway, my friends, that is it for today's video. If you've watched all the way till the end, you are a true legend, and I really do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Again, special shout out to you, Marie, for bringing this information to my attention. You, my friend, are a true legend. If you watched this video all the way to the end, maybe you enjoyed it, took some value, some insight, this is the first time you heard about this news, please do consider hitting that like button, drop me a comment down below and subscribing if you're new around here because all of that helps me out so much, my friends. Again, if you want to join that juicy Discord, you will not regret it, that's the first link. And if you want your four free stocks, that's the second link in the description, my friends. I hope you all have an absolutely beautiful, fantastic day. I will see you for another video very soon. Peace.